I'm Daisy Gonzalez. Welcome back to Husky Hustle, where we run down UConn sports in just a few minutes. I'm Jordan Rosenthal, and the timer starts now. Our first topic is women's basketball losing to South Carolina. We lost 65-83. to Paige Becker scored 20 points along with Aaliyah Edwards, and she had her fifth double-double. Uh, South Carolina staggered 19 to 3 advantage in bench points. Um, what went wrong, and how are we gonna go throughout the rest of the season? The the UConn team, it's been known how they're built for the whole season. They don't have size. They only have a few true scores. Luckily, you know, Ashton Shade helped Paige and Aaliyah out in this game. Without her 14 points, it would have been even uglier. Right, so they need people to step up and put in more production. They're going to get out-rebounded. They're going to get out-blocked. But, yeah. And they have so few players that they're going to have to find other ways to come back. Yeah, I hope we can figure it out as our season goes on. Um, but size is definitely our main issue right now. Our next topic is, along with the women's basketball, is senior night this Friday. They are going to present Nika... Aaliyah Edwards, Aubrey Griffith, and Paige Beckers? All, all interesting. I believe all can come back mm -hmm. for a COVID year. The only one I'm not sure about is Aubrey. Uh, but she's been injured so many times, she might even have another year. Yeah, I think she's been recognized before. But. Um, the question is, do they come back? Yeah. And with the way that NIL works now, it it's definitely questionable. I would say... All would be likely to come back. I mean, Aaliyah's having an incredible season. She might want to go. Yeah. But... I think Paige wants to stick out and really show her... And she wants to win a championship. Yeah, she wants to win. So I, I think she's going to come back. And next topic is predictions for the Marquette game. UConn's favorite to win because they have a two-game lead in the conference standings. Um, I think Tyler... Kulik will be one of the biggest challenges. I mean, against Butler, he had 27.7 rebounds and 5 assists in 36 minutes. Um, I hope it's a close game, but I hope we come out with the win. Um, how do you think the matchup is going to affect you? Well, this is, this is Tristan Newton's time to show mm -hmm. why he's so highly regarded. He's had some sloppy games recently, and... There's no better matchup than to go against supposedly one of the best point guards in the country to prove your worth. So, Tristan Newton, step up, got to guard Tyler Kolek and the rest of the team, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I agree. Last topic is men's hockey. They have not scored in a, a singular goal at home in their last home games. Zero goals scored against UMass, zero goal, goal scored against Providence, Zero against New Hampshire, uh, but the goaltender Ethan Hader had 42 saves against Providence. So I think it's just consistency with the team. I think it's not showing, and I think they could be the team that they want to be if they work on consistency. But they are nearing the final stretch of the season, so in regular season, a lost and really disappointing season for my Kavanaugh squad. Uh, especially after last season, where you know they were so surprisingly good, and the hockey East is just a war zone every year, but it, this is really disappointing. And hopefully, the staff sees things that they can fix and try to end the regular season on a good note. I agree. That's all we have for this week. We'll see you next week.